What's going on everyone? Raider here. Hope you're all doing great and having a fantastic day. Sorry for the lack of content lately. Been a little bit under the weather, feeling a little fatigued this week. Figure I'd jump back into YouTube with a couple short videos. In today's video, we're going to learn how to get rid of this little gesture hint that sits down here in our nav bar. It's quite annoying if you use nav bar gestures. The first thing you want to do is download and install Samsung Goodlock. It's available for free in the Samsung Galaxy Store. Once you have that installed, you want to go ahead and open up Navstar. Let's go ahead and enable Navstar, and you have this option right here, Enable Extra Gesture Settings. Go ahead and turn that on. And then we want to go into our main phone settings. We're going to go to Display. We're going to go down to Navigation Bar. And then we're going to pick More Options. And then with that good lock toggled enabled, we have the option to switch between One UI 6.0 nav gestures and 6.1. We covered that in a previous video. I'll go ahead and link it down in the description if you want to go ahead and use the old One UI 6.0 gestures. But what we're looking for is this right here, gesture hint. Once we go ahead and turn this toggle off, there goes our bar down on the bottom. And now our navigation bar is totally cleaned up. We no longer have that bar. You know, that little bar is nice if you're brand new to Galaxy devices, but once you've been using them for a while, what's the point? It's just taking up screen real estate. These are also OLED screens, and it's not really good to have a persistent object sitting on your screen nonstop like that. So uh, it's just really not a good idea for anything persistent to stay on there. So it's definitely a good idea to go ahead and get this removed. Another cool thing is once you have the setting enabled, we can go back into good lock, and as long as you don't disable this setting right here, just leave it like it is, we can go ahead and turn Navstar off and check that out. You'll notice it doesn't take the setting away. So it goes ahead and stays in place even though we turn Navstar off. All right, one more quick video coming out tomorrow, then I'll get back into the swing of things with more uh, lengthy content. If you have any questions or comments about today's video, please drop down in the comments section below. Always do appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.